Hello everybody! Today I'm going to review for you the new MASH nail stamping plates that are coming out. They sent me a set uh, for review, so I'm going to go through them for you. They come individually wrapped in an envelope like this. You guys have all seen these before. And they each come with this protective film on the front that you have to remove. It comes off really easily. It does leave, as you'll see when I'm going through, a little tiny bit of adhesive residue in some cases, but that comes off really easily with a nice swipe of acetone. The, the plates themselves are not sharp at all. That can be a problem with some brands, but you don't have to worry about cutting yourself on these. And they're backed really nicely with nice quality backing. All of the images, as far as I know, are original. I haven't seen them any place else, and I'm pretty crazy about nail stamping. There are some standards that you've seen before, like there's uh, a leopard and a zebra, but they're all original images. Um, all right, let me go through the images for you. There are 25 plates, and they start with numbering MASH 26. So this is MASH 26. This is mostly nail tips, a little flower in the middle there for you. Here is MASH 27. Some more nail tips. I really like the stars down here and cute little face up there. This is MASH 28. I love these kind of spiky triangles down here uh, and a little shatter pattern. Very cool. This is MASH 29. Cool skull. I love skulls. So I can always use another one of those. And nice tribal design and I like these stars over here. This is MASH 30. Nice cute little cat up there and I love these dandelions. Those are so cool. Here's MASH 31 with some cute little smiley faces on it. I love that. I like this devil one right here. He's been up to something. Here is MASH 32. Some pretty leaves. Pretty key, cute ladybug. Here is MASH 33, astrological signs, and I love the, the cute shooting star there. Here is MASH 34, some more astrological signs, and really, really neat planet there. I love anything cosmic. Stars, moons, suns, all that kind of stuff. Here is MASH 35. Got a pretty flower up on the top, Florida de Lee, and I love the little lobster there at the bottom. Here is MASH 36. Uh, I'm a big fan of the Eye of Horus. I love that, so I'll be using that a lot. And look at the detail on that bee. I mean, that's just amazing. Uh, here is MASH 37. I love those clouds. Those are really, really cool for nail art. And then the leaves and the little owl face at the bottom. Very, very cute. Yeah. Here is MASH 34, or excuse me, 38. And this is the first one of the plates that has full nail art designs on it. So let me stop for a second and just talk about um, the size of these. So these compare to the Conad plates. They're the same size as the Conad ones, um, almost exactly. They're half an inch wide and they're a half an inch plus an eighth of an inch long. And um, the Conad ones come in just a hair shy of that half an inch plus an eight, eighth of an inch. And these hit it right at that. So these are just a, a just a tiny titch longer. Um, anyway, I love this plate. I love the spider on it for Halloween. I love that the, um, the heartbeat symbol there. That's really cool. Here is MASH 39 nice little hearts design and then got these fans some scales and some stripes here is mash um, 40 I love these swirlies here at the bottom and you've got a leopard and some stripes here is mash 41 um, kind of a almost a chain link fence thing here at the bottom and I like this is almost tribal and up at the top that pretty flower with the swirls. I think that's really elegant. And I love dragonflies, so you know I'm going to be using that one a lot. Here is MASH 42. And here you've got um, this sort of retro uh, 
uh, squares and some a triangle design and some flowers up there. Now I want to see, I want to use this one to try to compare for you um, what the Conad designs versus the the mash designs look like because I want to show you that the mash are really good quality etchings. So let me see if I can get in here on this and show you the two. So you've got the Conad on the right and you've got the mash plates on the left and I'm hoping you can see there that the designs are just, the etchings are really of similar quality. Let me try to catch the light just right. So you can see on the conads there, the etching, and then the etching here is just as intricate, just as, um, just as detailed. Uh, let me try it. There we, maybe that's a little bit better. There we go. So at least to the naked eye, this looks like uh, the same quality etching to me. I haven't stamped on them yet. Uh, I'm going to do that next and I'll report on that, but um, as far as my naked eye can tell, that's the same kind of quality there. Okay, this is MASH 43. Got some bubbles, got kind of a tapestry design up at the top there, and um, little snake skin and some stripes. Here is MASH 44 sort of a chain, another chain link design, and then uh, a wheat design, which is neat, and this up here with the, the lines and the little dots is also very cool. This is MASH 45. I love this. This is one of my favorites. I love the, the vines here down at the bottom, and I love the cherries. That is so great for any kind of retro pinup sort of design you want to do. So pretty. Um, here is MASH 46. This I just love down here. I think it's so Art Deco looking. Uh, and then you've got this um, this beautiful flower and swirl design. Some more lines for you, some stripes for you. This is MASH 47. I love this snowflake pattern here at the bottom. It just kind of reminds me of Ninja Star. Ninja Star snowflakes. And another one of these full nail designs that's almost kind of tribal. Here is MASH 48. I love these flames up here. They're so great for, um, I wish I had them for my Hunger Games manicure for the Girl on Fire. I'm definitely going to be using that for uh, the sequel. And I love this little inchworm over here on the side. So there's 48. Here is MASH 49. I love these swirls here with the, the swirl. Um, it's almost like an, an ocean with the, it's really cool stylized kind of ocean. And this lily is just beautiful. And you've got um, you know giraffe and some great stars for 4th of July or whatever you want. And here's another one of my favorites, this, this vine, this crawling vine here. I think that's gonna be so great to do so many things with. I can't wait to use that one. And then some circles and um, waves and another plaid and then there's a little cobra guy there so there you go there are the new mash plates that are about to be released and um, I think the quality of the image like I said is really good it looks comparable to Conad um, the size of the nail images are comparable to Conad um, the designs are original they're they've got um, the plates aren't sharp they're not dangerous so overall I'm, I'm really impressed and I can't wait to see how they stamp thanks for watching bye